Hello, guten tag, buongiorno, marhaba, namaste. Good day to you, trader. This is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by the trader. The most important thing in spotting exactly turning points or reversal points of the trend, it's not an easy task, but you can do it very easy way using a certain methodology I discovered after quite a good couple of years of studying WD GAN works. And in today's video, I will briefly show you what results you can get when you do it the right way. So let's start the rock and roll. In order to understand the harmonics of the market, reading WD Gunn's book The Tunnel Through the Air is a must in my opinion. Most of WD Gunn's techniques, trading techniques and tips you will find just over there. Well, the bad news is that it is all encrypted in a story of the main character of the book, Robert Gordon. If you'd like to read this book, you'll find below a link to my webpage where you can download it just for free. Okay, let's go straight to the point and have a look, please, on the chart over here. And we are on EURUSD at the moment. Where is my chart? Over here. All right, we got it here. Let's presume we are on March 24, 2020, and we try to project our future turning points or reversal points based on what we've got right now. What have we got over here? You might have remembered. EURUSD daily chart it is. And so the market got uh, this rally over here, which started from February 20th, somewhere here. And within two weeks, the market made a high of 15, roughly 115. And then the market collapsed within 10 days or 12 days to 1065. So we might say that the market just jumped up how much was that? What is 108? Roughly 700 pips up and then 800 pips down. This big waterfall you might have remembered. So we, we might consider that the starting points over here on 20th of March or 9th of March might be very important turning points. And we might take it into consideration for our future projections. Well, what I want to stress over here, that WD Gunn, if his book, The Talent Truly Air, he said, I've got it here, my calculations are based on the cycle theory and on mathematical sequences. History repeats itself. That is what I have always contended, that in order to know and predict the future of anything, you only have to look up what has happened in the past and get a correct base or starting point. That's what I mean. If we get a base or a starting point from here, from 20th of March, we might get a really decent results as well as we get the base starting point as 9 March, the highest close. In recent days, I remind you, we are on 24th or 25th of March and we're trying to guess what's going to happen in the future. So you might remember the famous GAN's forecast for the US Dow Jones tops and bottoms in 1929. You might have seen it already, probably, I guess. The forecast was made on some mathematical formulas which works nearly perfectly. Over the years, I've found this formula over my years of research on WD GAN. I started in the proper, the right way, I think in 2009, so it's quite a long time ago. So I found this formula and I'd like to show you this methodology, the effects of it. And if you want to learn it, 
you can contact me to find more about it and how to the details how to how to learn it so you'll find the contact details below this video so if you want to know exactly how it works please write me an email to the address right below this video so let me show you how it works let's presume as i said we are on 24 25th of march 2020 and we try to find the nearest turning points based on the bottom of 20th of March and I have calculated already possible reversal where are they they're over here why well, I just marked it's based on top and bottom and based on on those two values using my formulas which are hidden here obviously I calculated some dates and I marked on green the the days which were perfect hit or nearly perfect hit so let me show you 27th of march and 6th of april are here where are they where are they it's not that way 27th of march is the first one and the next one is 6th of april which were perfect hit next one is 17th of april and 1st of may so we got 17th of april which also was a hit because it was a local correction. I consider it a hit. It does need to be necessarily right in the bottom or right in the top, but I would consider it work. But there are other filters to filter it, so I'll talk about it later. 17th and 1st of May, we are here. As you may see, what we've got next after 1st of May, 17th May and 3rd of June. Okay, so that's 17th of May. Seven things was Sunday, so it the market right started hit the long rally on 18 of May, and the next one we've got uh, 3rd of June, which was a miss. All right, and let me show you. So it's 3rd of June, is a miss, it's just a candle before the small correction. So this one day slippage over here, so I just neglect it. Next one is 23rd of June and 15th of 15th of July. So we got 23rd of June over here, which you got right on the top. The next one is 15th of July, which is the top before this local one day correction over here. It's also considered turning points. Those guns turning points from 1929 from his uh, famous forecast were made in exactly the same way it wasn't all tops and bottoms the major ones they're the small ones and the last but not least which i've got in my calculations is 7th of august here we go let's go to 7th of august we've got it 7th of august as you might know today is 15th of august 2020 it was starting the local correction we don't know what's going to happen in the future but we've got another turning point second of september well i'm not going to talk any more about it at the moment because this projection is the first one i teach on my courses on my course and the second one is converting price into time on the example of euro usd which is so we got the basic starting point we got 24th of june 2019 is over a year ago when you check all these dates over here you will find that you might have been familiar with them there are, most of them are turning points i've got them somewhere here i think i'm not sure where is my euro usd well i'm probably i've i've lost it somewhere i just deleted it doesn't matter but let me show you at least those important ones which I marked over here. I marked them in green. 20th of March. I'm not marking it. You must be familiar with 28th of March is similar to another one, which was 27th of March. It's just one day up. 5th of April. Where is 5th of April? It was a miss. 5th of April. Sorry. It was a miss. 14th of April. Let me show you where is 14th of april was it a miss or or not 17th 15th 
14th is this one no it's 15th 14th yeah we got over here let's let's zoom it in and I, that looks 14th of april is the date 23rd of april is the next one where's 23rd let's mark it it's 22nd 23rd over here the next one is 1st of may you remember it was a local top 10th of may let's check it 10th of may where are we it is six seven eight nine eleven tenth was uh tenth of may was sunday eleventh was monday local top local bottom sorry another one well oh, it's 19th of may we can check it 19th of may did it do something to us or not 15th 16th 18th 19th we got one day miss but the market nearly hit the top over here uh during the during the day so that's how it works another one is uh is uh i got another formula which i teach also is uh we got another here price into time projection second of may it was saturday i think 8th of may it works 14th of may you know it works all these points were hits again and i stress it again it was made based on this calculations based on the cycle theory and on mathematical sequences history repeats itself that it hasn't been done on magic squares and other stuff it hasn't been done on stars obviously there are some other factors influencing my trading decisions based on other things like guns harmonic pivots i've got some pivots over here harmonic pivots you might check some some of them work some of them don't so 1715 uh, 15 is one pivot 119 88 right now is another pivot so if we get 118 1988 it might be it might be a local pivot we are not very far from that it should be somewhere here this pivot um, 1988 is 2070 it's somewhere here all right so we are not very far of the pivot it's not saying that the price will touch here and come back and will collapse 500 pips because as you know probably if you trade long enough the market before it makes a major turn it stays in the area of conjun congestion like it happened here which happened from 1st of April, beginning of April till mid-May when the market started rising and made first wave correction, the second wave and blah, 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 if you are familiar with Elliott waves. Once again, if you want to find out more about this calculation method or methodology, please check the description below. Thank you very much for, for staying with me to the end. I wish you a very happy trading days in the future and take care of yourself. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.